Okay, we're back on Belmont Day, and uh, it doesn't seem to be any early scratches in the morning. I just checked the DRF. Uh, we're going to check in with Roselli, just get his bet. Um, we know that he's going with Miner's Escape, who's a relative long shot in this field and uh, overlooked by a lot of handicappers. Um, John, how much are you really willing to, willing to put on, uh, on this horse's nose here? I'm going to put $15 to win. John, when the fans got word of your choice for the 2009 Belmont, there wasn't a heck of a lot of support out there on the blog for the horse, uh, maybe even a little bit of ridicule for your choice. Um, was there any kind of strategy? Is there a particular type of betting strategy that you would go on for a long shot on, uh, on the first race of this uh, handicapping challenge? If you have listened to the other blogs, you know who I like and you know why. I'm going to lean into this one a little bit and take a shot and try to get out ahead of you all and uh, see if you can catch me from there if I happen to be right. So that's Roselli's ticket for the Belmont Stakes, 15 on Miner's Escape on the nose. Uh, the horse will probably go off at better than 10 to 1. And before we sign off, I just want to talk about uh, Stephen Chris' choice, uh, Mind That Bird, and uh, the logic behind the choice, feeling that he's going to get uh, exceptional odds um, on the horse, being, being the favorite but not being the favorite uh, overwhelmingly. And it brings me back to 1991 when Chris uh, strongly supported Hansel in what he described as a very cold-blooded bet over Strike the Gold in the 1991 Belmont Stakes. Hansel had come off a win in the Preakness. Strike the Gold had won the Derby, but Hansel had put up a, a figure in the Preakness on kind of an off track that uh, really dominated the field up to that point, and the fans were not really giving Hansel the credit for posting a true figure. Uh, Chris just assumed the figure was true, and then decided to make a cold-hearted bet, and as he described it, with absolutely no confidence on Hansel. Hansel ran rank in that Belmont down the back stretch under Jerry Bailey, but he, Bailey got him together and brought him into the stretch with a lead. Strike the gold had been dawdling 20 lengths behind, made a strong move on the far turn and was eating up ground in the stretch. But when they hit the wire, Hansel had won it by a head, diminishing at that, but he won it by a head and Chris walked away with a huge score including the pick six on that day. Uh, I, I clearly remember that day and clearly remember the logic that Chris put into his bet. So don't discount that guy. He's a very astute handicapper.